This is the Hobby King X550 camera mount that I recently put together. I got it from a website called Got Heli RC, G O T H E L I R C. I went ahead and ordered from those guys just because they're based here in the US and although their price is a little bit higher, I believe this was $22 and on Hobby King it's $12, but as you know, with Hobby King, you pay a ton for shipping and generally have to wait uh, quite a bit longer to get it. So if you're doing a decent size order, Got Heli RC has a um, pretty good selection for quadcopters. And I'll post a follow-up video that shows some shots that I took during the build, but uh, if you look at the manual on the Hobby King side, it's relatively simple, but I wanted to talk about a couple things that uh, were a little bit difficult you know from a build perspective so as a starting place if you look at these tabs right here this guy and this guy there's two arms that are attached you mount the tab in between and so if you look at the manual it looks like you can pretty much you know place these pieces together by hand but I actually had to use a uh, rubber mallet to mash these pieces in place just to get them snug. Camera mount is made out of fiberglass so it's pretty durable. So on this side it's really just a one axis um, camera mount just has your tilt servo but for what I'm doing that, that serves its purpose I'm just going to mount a GoPro and do some initial aerial video and then maybe do a little bit of FPV with it. So one other note or point I wanted to make was just when you put these landing skids, you know, you attach them to these side arms, uh, kind of mash these pieces together, and then the manual recommends, you know, CA glue or super glue. I used crazy glue, and this thing is really snug. I don't think that's going to come apart unless, you know, you have a pretty hard landing or a crash. The servo is pretty easy to mount, just four screws. So with the weight being about 153 grams with 57 gram servo, you know, it's roughly 210 grams. I put it on my scale and got about 220 grams. I'd say with the GoPro servo and camera mount, we're talking about a little over half a pound payload. So um, shouldn't be too bad. The next step will be to mount the X550 landing gear and camera mount to the bottom of my DJI frame and these tabs from the landing gear will essentially slide in and mount just like that. I'll actually have to disassemble the arms and then slide them in and uh, assemble them back but it shouldn't be uh, too much work. I'll post a follow-up that shows uh, the final build. So that's the X550 frame, uh, camera mount, landing gear, it's really tough to beat for the price. So I'll post a video shortly that shows uh, the, process, the build process with a bunch of stills and hopefully talk you through um, each step. Pretty straightforward, but there are a couple gotchas and takes about 30 minutes to do. Thanks for watching.